गाइज अ क्वेश्चन दैट आई गेट आस्क वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ माई चैनल इज दैट से आई हैव ए ट्वेंटी फोर वोल्ट इन्वर्टर राइट हीयर इट कुड बी अ नॉर्मल ओल्ड स्कूल इन्वर्टर और इट कुड बी अ सोलर इन्वर्टर द वन दैट इज समथिंग लाइक दिस इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ओवर हीयर टूडे एज एन एग्जाम्पल and the question would be that uh, sir this uh, 24 volt inverter is designed to generally use two batteries that would be you know uh, 12 volt batteries two of them in series and the question would be that can i add more batteries to my 24 volt solar inverter for the sake of getting better storage better backup and the answer is absolutely yes like i am doing right here in front of your eyes so i have connected uh, four automotive batteries to this uh, UTN Gamma Plus 3350 now this thing is for an experimental reason because you know there are small light batteries they are easy to move around but you can do the very same method that we'll discuss in this particular video with respect to large lead acid solar batteries or even a lithium ion battery so this method is applicable to any kind of 24 volt inverter or any kind of 12 volt uh, regular battery could be car battery could be lead acid battery could be lithium or anything like that all right So let's talk about how to make the connections with respect to 24 volt inverters. First I'll show you how the regular connections work. And normally 24 volt inverters will use only two batteries. It could be small or large it does not matter but it will be two in series. Now this is the positive which comes from the inverter which will be connected to the positive on your battery. Your battery is going to have an indication of the polarity it will generally have a small plus sign something like this. where you can connect the positive cable of your inverter then the other side goes to the negative battery terminal again it will have a small minus sign over there and as you can see i have connected this black wire to the negative battery post of the batteries and now what we'll need is we'll need this kind of series cable or linking cable as you can see right here this yellow thing over here and that thing is going to series the remaining two terminals after doing this kind of connection and this is how a normal 24 volt battery bank usually looks for the sake of today's video let's call this thing battery bank number 1 now at this point your inverter should simply start working and this is how you get a normal backup from your two 12 volt batteries in series battery bank number 1 right there now what we need to do is to add further backup or further capacity to your battery bank you can create a second battery bank let's call it the bank number 2 again the process is very similar you got positive and negative terminals up front right here the remaining two terminals will again be made into a series using this uh, series cable or linking cable like i have this yellow one over here for this example and now what we need to do is merge these both battery banks in parallel how we'll be doing that like so so what i've done is this is the positive terminal and via this green wire it has been made parallel to this positive post so this post and this post is now in parallel connection again the negative side this post and this post is made parallel using this black wire as you can see over here okay you need to pay attention to the polarity you should not mess this up so whenever we are making parallel connections the positive should go to the positive and the negative should go to the negative there should be no mistakes over here and what we have effectively achieved right now is known as a series parallel connection also sometimes known as a matrix connection why series parallel because as the name goes first we what we did is we made the series of these two batteries then we made the series of these two batteries and then connected both of these banks that is bank 1 and bank 2 in parallel that is how a series parallel connection works and this thing is not just limited to four batteries you can go even further just keep making battery bank sets like this like this is the bank 1 2 3 you can go with further banks and you can put all of them in parallel and it should effectively increase the backup and capacity of your 24 volt inverter system there is a little bonus tip for you guys those who are into a little bit of advanced uh, electrical connections then what you can do is you can make a staggered parallel connection out of this now this is the utl gamma plus 3350 and unfortunately the battery leads are very short i am planning on extending them but currently i just had what the company provided and hence i could not create a staggered parallel connection but if this positive uh, wire from the machine would be a little longer what i'll do is i'll remove it from here and i'll put it on this second battery bank 
So what it will do is it will equalize the load a little bit on both of these parallel battery banks because the negative will be connected over here to the first battery bank. You can say the bank number one, but the positive will be connected over here to battery bank number two. All right. And we'll be keeping all of this same. So this parallel connection is going to stay all of the same, but just we have moved this positive from first to second. All right, and this kind of method is known as a staggered parallel connection. It is a very nice kind of connection if you want to improve the balance, you know, if you want to improve the balancing between both battery banks. If you're finding this concept a little bit more complicated, then I already have a video for it explaining about the staggered parallel connection in I button or in the description. So guys, this is how you can connect, you know, four, eight, even 10 batteries to a 24 volt battery bank. A lot of people ask me if I can connect three batteries. No, you cannot. You always have to go in even number of sets. So you can go with like, now these are two batteries. You can go with four. Then you can go with either six. You can go with eight. You cannot do three or five or something like that. Of course, there would be nothing to put them in series across. So it will always go in even numbers. So this is how it works with a 24 volt inverter system. If you have a 12 volt inverter system and if you still would like to increase its backup or capacity, then you can also add parallel batteries with respect to 12 volt inverters. How to do that? Well, the video is available right here in the form of this card. You can click on him and watch that particular informative video as well. So that's it for this neat little video guys. I hope you liked the video. Take care and have a nice day.